Welcome to Pull Addiction, where I like to do pull and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pull and billiards related for that matter. So there are many, many carbon fiber shafts on the market today, and I think we can honestly say that the craze is catching on. Whether you're a believer in them or not, they are used by a lot of pros and you can't question their low deflection and their durable qualities. Now, when carbon fiber shafts first started out on the market, you only could get them in a couple different sizes and they were always sold out. Now, most of the manufacturers that offer carbon fiber shafts offer them in several different sizes, anywhere from 11.8 millimeter to 13 millimeter. And I have to say, I still love the smooth finish of a carbon fiber shaft. Now, this brings me to my next review, this review, the Go Custom SL Carbon Fiber Shaft. And this review has been a long time coming. And I'm here now, finally knocking this review out. But before we move to the table and get a closer look, let's talk a little bit about Go Customs for those of you that don't know much about them. Go Customs is out of the Netherlands and the man behind the scenes is Goran Kobas. His playing shafts are have many different customizable features and you can make the shaft really the way you want it. He offers it in many different sizes, whatever tip you want, different ferrule sizes, and you can even have something personally etched on it. His website doesn't go too much into detail of the construction of his shafts and what makes them low deflection though. Even though I've had these shafts for a while, I haven't run any in-depth testing with them yet. But I have to say, the playing I've been playing with them for a while and they definitely are low deflection. Now, Go Customs has a line of other equipment as well. He has a brake shaft as well as a carom shaft, his own playing cue, brake cue, and jump cue, which are all made of carbon fiber. He even has his own line of chalk and cue extensions. So I first heard of Go Customs from uh, forums like A to Z Billiards and some YouTube videos. And many people were praising how well his shaft played, so I figured I'd give it a go. Now I'm not, I paid my own money for all these products, so in no way is this sponsored by anybody in any way. With all the customization he does, I decided to throw him a curveball and see if he could transplant some joint rings from a donor shaft so I could have matching ring work on this carbon fiber shaft with my main playing cue, which is a Chris Nitty. And he said he could do that. So that leads me to my story of how I got not just one, but two Go Custom Shafts. So the story starts off with me talking to Garan about doing the ring work. And he agreed he could do it. So I packaged up my donor shaft and shipped it off to him right at the beginning of COVID. And let's just say sending something USPS international during a pandemic. Yeah, we had no idea where the shaft was. So three months go by and we just finally decided, you know what, the shaft's lost. Let's go ahead and just build a standard one and ship it off to me. And ironically, about two days after I received the standard one from Goran, hit the donor shaft showed up to his door. So we talked about it for a little bit and we decided to go ahead and still do the donor shaft. And he gave me a special discount with, for it, which I can't thank him enough for. So that's how I arrived here with two shafts. So now let's get up close and see how well these things perform and how they look. Now, when my first Go Custom Shaft showed up, it showed up in this box right here. It has some bubble wrap and everything. It was uh, packed really nice. It also came with some other items. It came with some uh, patches, as well as some uh, business cards and some stickers. So, pretty nice. And it also came with uh, his chalk as well. So, it, it really, really nice extras that you get with the shaft. And this is the Go SL shaft I got the 11.8 millimeter version and the reason why I want the 11.8 version is I've tried uh, all the carbon fiber shafts in 12 millimeter and above so I wanted to give one a go that was uh, a little uh, on the smaller side was what I used to play with as far as my wood shafts go um, I also opted for a little bit bigger uh, ferrule that's something that he would uh, customize for you as well so really nice package in here and everything now, I told you I have two Go Custom shafts. So when the second one showed up, it showed up in this right here, again, a bunch of bubble wrap. And here it is. The difference being, I had him do my custom Chris Nitty ring work off of a donor shaft. Pretty much the same specs as the other one, they're 29 inches long, the standard length. The only other difference other than the ring work is I had them put on a different tip and we'll talk about that when we go over the specs of each of these shafts. So let's get into that part. All right, let's talk about this more standard version shaft first. Um, like I said, this one is, my, is an 11.8 millimeter version, but the other tips that you can get on this is an 11.9, a 12.4, 
12.5, 12.6, 12.9, and a 13 millimeter tip. The standard tip he puts on here is his own go tip, and it comes in soft, medium, or medium hard. The different lengths you can get are 29 inches, 29 and a half inches, and 30 inches. And he pretty much makes it in any joint type uh, you can you have out there. Um, some of the other things that are standard is he usually puts a white uh, fiber pad instead of a ferrule, but you can get a ferrule like this, and this is a four millimeter version. I believe this is the longest that he likes to put on here, but I, I specifically requested that. And I also went with a Zan Hybrid Max tip instead. I've heard a lot of good things about this and I've never played with it before, so I wanted to give it a try. It is a little harder, uh, it's a little bit of a harder tip than I normally play with. Uh, it's probably on the harder side of a medium tip, but it is considered a medium tip. So those are the different things that I, I did with this particular shaft. Now, as far as the finish goes, it's got a nice matte finish. It's nice and smooth. Uh, it, it feels great. It's not as glossy as some of the other ones out there. And also it has the Go SL 11.8 millimeter etched in near the joint. And uh, so you know what shaft it is and what size it is. So really nice shaft. It does feel really good. Talking about my other one, the uh, one with my custom ring work. So basically the only difference between these two is the custom ring work and the joint. We'll talk about that in a minute and the tip itself. I put a Kamui Black Soft on this one instead. But other than that, these are exactly the same. It's got the same matte finish here. It is a little glossier down here where I think he epoxied in the joint itself. So it, it made the uh, carbon fiber a little bit shinier than normal, but it's not a big deal. It's, it doesn't affect play or, or, or distract me at all. So the only other thing I wanted to talk about differences though, and when we get into the testing may affect things, is the joints themselves. With the donor shaft, if you notice here, he uh, actually don't, uh, put in the wood threads from the donor shaft actually in, into the uh, carbon fiber itself, whereas this is the more standard plastic. Um, with playing with it, I do notice that the wood one does feel a little bit more um, a little bit more like a wood shaft uh, and, and it's got a little softer feel to it. Uh, I talked to Goran about that and he said that it doesn't, it shouldn't matter, it should feel the same and he thought it was kind of interesting but it was, it was, it was a little interesting. I mean it's, it's, ne it's not a, 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 a huge difference but I mean it does feel a little bit more like wood. It could be subliminal, who knows. Anyways, let's get into the actual specs of these things and see how they line up to what I ordered. So we'll look at the tip sizes first between these two. And looking at the standard version, and it's coming in at 11 point, uh, 11.8685, 11.85. And the more custom version is 11.83 so really close to the 11.8 standard um, that's kind of normal they have the small variances but uh, that's pretty much right on in my opinion looking at the weights of these let's take a look at those at how they compare all right the standard one comes in at 3.85, 3.849. And the more custom version, 3.7939. So really, really close uh, between the two, less than an ounce, uh, less than a 0.1 ounce difference. So that's pretty much this, uh, I call that the same. Now, as far as the links go, I got the standard 29 inches. So the first one, it looks like it comes in at a little over 29, looks like about 29 and 3 eighths inches. And if you were to subtract out the, the size of the tip, that puts us pretty much right there at 29 inches. And it looks like the pro style taper ends right at 16 inches, which is what the, pro, uh, the taper length is supposed to be. So looking at, the other one, we are 
looking at looks like uh, this one looks like it's just a hit, right about 29 and a half inches, which puts it, uh, subtract out the tip size, puts us a little over 29 inches. Um, not quite sure if that's because of my uh, custom joint ring. Um, that could set the sizing off a little bit different, but close enough. And as far as the taper goes, it looks like, yeah, it looks like about 16, 16 and a half inches. So pretty much on point for what his specs are. So with that said, how's this marry up to my cues? Looking at the standard version, screwing it on, it actually is nice and got a decently tight fit, uh, nice and snug. And I noticed a few times when I played with this, it was kind of difficult getting it off afterwards. And the lip on it, there's almost no lip there. So it's, it's, it marries up pretty good on this. And to measure my joint width, um, tell you here in a second the joint width that I'm dealing with on my cue is work uh, looks like I'm about 0.84 inches or so so kind of give you an idea of how this would be married up there I believe my joint on on my cue butt is uh, one of the more standard sizing out there so anyways and then to kind of give it a look with the more custom version so the ring works look the same it screws on just like any of my other wood shafts because of that wood threading and it is a perfect match because it matches the ring work so Pretty nice. Now, like I said, I've played with these for a few months now and kind of got a good feel for them. So we're gonna run it through some tests and everything and uh, see how everything stacks up compared to other carbon fiber shafts. So let's get into that one right now.
Okay, so what are my thoughts on the Go Custom SL Carbon Fiber Shaft? It plays really nice, it has a great balance and feels good in the bridge hand. There's also hasn't been any glossy shine type of finish with use like the Synergy and Revo 10 they get with playing with them a lot. The hip feels stiff and it's got a little bit of a tink type of noise and if you listen to the audio that I have in some of the B-roll near the end, you can kind of hear that. If I were to compare this to other carbon fiber shafts I've tried so far, I'd say the hit itself feels most like a Revo. And I'd almost say as far as the combined hit and feel of the Go shaft, it's in between the Revo and the Synergy. With the standard Go shaft playing a little bit more like the Revo and my customized with the wood donor joint playing a little bit more like the Synergy. What do I think about the different tips I had on these shafts? Well, the Hybrid Max is a nice harder tip, but I tend to miscue a bit more with that tip and the Kamui Black Soft played just fine, and I think I still prefer the Kamui Black Soft right now over the Hybrid Max, at least for now. With that said, the difference of the, uh, in these tips, I don't feel played any major role with the results I got with uh, the testing that I did. Now, I wanna put a disclaimer out there before we discuss any of these results of these two shafts. These results I have were based on a seven foot table with Simona's cloth. Also, results can change based on your table and equipment conditions, as well as the conditions of the room itself, like relative humidity. But what I'm trying to say is, my results uh, can vary from whatever results you may have if you decide to do any testing yourself. Now, talking about the results of the testing I did, the big test that everyone is always interested in is the deflection test. So I did five hits in soft, medium, and firm for a total of 15 shots a piece for each shaft. The, stand go, the standard Go custom shaft had an average soft hit of 0.475 inches, a medium of 0.475 inches, and a firm of 0.425 inches. The customized Go custom shaft that I have had an average soft hit of 0.25 inches, a medium of 0.125 inches, and a firm of 0.25 inches. So how does that stack up against the other carbon fiber shafts I've tested so far? Well, if you consider the deflection test along with Dr. Day's pivot test, which helps indicate how low deflection a shaft is, it ranks as the lowest deflection shaft I've tested so far. But overall, I think the Revo, BQ Prime M, and the Go Custom are all in a almost virtual tie when it comes to being the lowest deflection shaft out there, even though the numbers place the Go in the number one spot. 
The price of the Go Custom Shaft starts at $399 and can go up based on the options we discussed earlier in the video. And that pretty much makes it a pretty reasonable compared, uh, comparison to the Revo, which starts at $499. The Go Custom Shaft is a very nice shaft, and just like all these other shafts I've tested so far, I feel like I'm splitting hairs when it comes to picking out which one's better than the other. They're all really great shafts, and some people are just gonna like a certain feel of a shaft over the other one, and that's because everybody is different. What I'm trying to do in these reviews is to give you some better insight to how these shafts play and everything before you invest your money. I just want you guys to make good decisions with your money if you're looking to purchase a carbon fiber shaft. Now, would I recommend this shaft to anybody? Yes, I would. It's a very nice shaft that plays very similar to a Revo. Will I be replacing my main playing shaft for this one? No, the, the BQ Prime M still is the best fit for me in my game. In my opinion, this shaft is, plays in between that Revo and Synergy and it has the good qualities of each of those shafts all wrapped up into the Go Custom Carbon Fiber Shaft. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I will put, a, I'll put the non-affiliated link in the description below so you know where to go buy it. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and if you didn't, hit that thumbs down twice and we'll be good to go. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more of this content. I'm gonna be putting out more videos on shafts and a lot of other equipment this year, and you wanna stay tuned for that. And if you wanna stay tuned, you gotta hit that notification bell because that'll let you know as soon as I put it out. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one.